Thank you so much uh, for joining. Uh, my name is Brian Lewis. I am the director of marketing here at OrthoFi. Uh, we're going to give a couple minutes real quick just for people to get uh, signed on real quick. You know, get everybody, man, I know it's kind of the end of the day. People are wrapping up, uh, you know, patience and stuff. So thank you for being here. Uh, we're excited uh, to, to do this webinar with everybody. I know it's the end of the year and practice are busy, so we appreciate you spending time with us. Uh, we have over you know 200 and something people registered for this tonight. So uh, thank you to all of our OrthoFi clients that are uh, here with us tonight. I know there's a bunch of you out there. Uh, if you're not an OrthoFi client, thanks for thanks for being with us here anyway as well. This stuff, that, the information that Janelle's going to be covering tonight, um, you know, if you're a user or not, it, it's still going to be really helpful for you. Um, and we're we're really excited to have Janelle uh, doing this with us tonight. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to introduce Janelle. So if you guys do have questions, by the way, any uh, please use the, the, um, the Q&A function in Zoom. So down at the bottom, you can submit any questions that you want there. Uh, we're going to compile them all and then ask them at, at the end. Janelle's going to block up some time to do a little Q&A with everybody. Uh, so please, you know, we want this to be as interactive as possible. So please submit any questions you have. You know, if you have comments or, you know, anything, feel free to use the chat as well. But if you have any questions, try to use that Q&A function. Um, and we'll get make sure they get answered at the end. So, uh, like I said, I am super excited to introduce Janelle Baum. You know, as a, Janelle is one of the best, obviously, uh, as, a, as a certified clown with a degree in theater from Buffalo State and over 10 years of experience working in general dentistry and orthodontics. Um, you know, Janelle is, is really one of the best in the business and, and she has relationship building super powers for those of you that know her. Uh, she does a ton of webinars, not only with ourselves. Uh, with OrthoFi, but she also does a lot of stuff with LifeForce and a few others. So you see her all over social media and all over, um, you know, the different webinar circuit. But if you don't follow her on social, make sure you do because she's hysterical and does really a lot of just really kind of best practices. Um, she really has a unique ability beyond anybody I've ever really known that really creates, a, you know, being able to create personal relationships, use humor and, and just really be herself. Um, she's been the treatment coordinator with ASCO Orthodontics for over seven years. Um, and she lives, you know, in Buffalo area with her husband and her beautiful kids. She has a little son and a little, and a little girl, and they are awesome. So, uh, again, thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate you. And uh, with that, I'm going to hand it over to you, Janelle, to get started. Awesome. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. That was a great uh, introduction. I appreciate that very much. What you forgot to mention, Brian, was... I come with a warning. For any of those that haven't seen me on social media or any webinars, I move my hands a lot. I get real passionate talking about life as a TC, talking about my amazing team and my amazing boss, Dr. Rob, over at Escal Orthodontics. And I get real passionate talking about OrthoFi and I preach it on every office. So you're going to see my, what color am I wearing? Green, green hands, arms moving all over the screen. I also am naturally a fast talker. So I'm going to try to slow it down tonight. If there's anything that I'm speeding through, just asking that question and answer, and I'll be sure to answer it at the end. But a little bit of about myself. I'm Janelle. For those that don't know me, I am a treatment coordinator, like Brian said, out in Buffalo, New York at Ascal Orthodontics. I can confidently say I'm a Fruit Loop in a world of Cheerios, and we raise our kids to be that way too. This is a fun example of a Christmas card we did a while ago. Um, what Brian didn't mention is this month is my birthday month. I'm proud to say I'm going to be 40 years old the day after Christmas. Um, in the next few slides, you're going to see a bunch of stores located and listed. Um, those are all the stores I'm registered for at my birthday. So let me just get to that slide. Just kidding, Brian. Brian over at OrthoFi, I hope you're sweating on that one. I did not create a slide for my birthday. But listen, enough about me. Let's talk valuetainment. I'm going to talk to you about all of the tips and tricks and special things we do at Escal Orthodontics that bring value into every patient interaction from anywhere from that new patient phone call all the way to their debond appointment. So join me as I go through all sorts of different ways that we do that. So... What is the difference between customer service and customer experience? As you know, everyone walks into any business or orthodontic office hoping to have great customer experience but or customer service, but what they don't expect is an awesome customer experience. And customer service is just one part of the journey, but customer experience encompasses it all. And that's what I'm gonna show you today on how we create an awesome experience. Again, all the way from that new patient phone call to Devon. Now, customer-centric 
Patient experience matters, guys. I can't tell you enough. I want you to take a screenshot of this and really focus and read this out loud at your morning huddle tomorrow because everything you do that creates a customer-centric patient experience matters to that patient. Just the other day, I literally had a new patient come in and prior to them coming in, I'm looking at the OrthoFi um, cheat sheet. For those non-OrthoFi users, you're going to hear what this little cheat sheet means to me. Um, but on that cheat sheet, it says the mom's name, some information about the child. But what stuck out to me was the mom's name and it said that she works as a marketer. So I said to her while scanning the son's mouth, oh, I see you do marketing. You know, I'm always trying to increase my creative marketing skills. Where is it that you work? And she said to me, well, Janelle, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I do marketing for, I'm like, what? I almost shoved the Itero um, scanner down the patient's mouth. I'm like, well, why are you here? What brought you to ask orthodontics? And she's like, honestly, Janelle, because when I was referring Referred to, as my son was referred to an orthodontic office, I was referred to S Orthodontics and I went online and I looked at your social media and all it did was scream customer or she said patient centric city all over your social media. And she goes, this experience isn't for me. It's for my son. Yes, she could have saved $6,000, but she knew it was about her son and she knew her son was going to get that you know, customer or patient centric um, experience. So it's, su it's huge. It works. And we'll talk all about social media in the few slides coming up. But for those that don't realize this, patients are going on 2.5 consults. So what is your office doing to really stand out when those moms are shopping around? Don't forget, when they're shopping around, they're making phone calls. So what are you doing at that new patient phone call that's going to make you stand out? Um, there's a lot that I'm going to explain on what we do to make our office stand out. So when patients are shopping around, they're choosing us. And that's what I'm going to talk about on how we add value. Um, my girls, Lexi and Ray, your ears are probably ringing if you're not watching this, but these are my rock stars. Just to give paint a little picture of where they sit in the office, they're the front they sit up at the front desk. It's just them up there. They're the first faces that all patients see when they walk in. They wear multiple hats. Lexi is our administrative assistant and scheduling coordinator. Um, when she's making appointments and talking with parents in the reception room, she's also taking on all of those phone calls that come in and taking on all those new patient phone calls. Lexi as well, or I'm sorry, Ray as well, is our financial coordinator that is also working up front, making appointments, um, doing all of the Dr. Rob duties that she's asked to do, but also doing social media and things like that. But again, she's also taking on these new patient phone slips. So she's got multiple hats, hands everywhere. These girls are like a switch, switchboard operator. So they're doing multiple things, but they are really, really, really trained on how to handle these new patient phone calls, which I'm going to let you listen to in a minute because all they do and are all they're trained to do is educate and influence that patient when they call the office and create relationships with that patient. Our new patient phone calls are not just collecting demographics. Here I have an example, which I get asked a lot about on, well, how do these girls know what to say on these new patient phone calls and how do they do such a good job? Well, we've got this new patient phone slip here. And before I begin to explain it, I want to do a shout out to Tracy Martin at Straight Consulting and Michelle Shimon at Shimon Cons Consulting, because we've worked with both of these consultants and they've given us both great ideas. And we've taken our ideas, what works for us and their advice and put it together on this two page new patient phone slip. It is just back and front. Um, there's some areas that are highlighted in, in different colors. So please take a screenshot of this. But the parts in this yellow highlight are just to remind the girls that when they're answering the phone call, be friendly, be fun, you know, be engaging. They're not just collecting the demographics. Um, I talk a lot about how they're educating and influencing the patient or the patient's parent when they're answering that phone call. And they do this a number of ways. So of course, I as a TC and Dr. Rob as the doctor needs to know why this new patient is coming in. So it's their job to get that information. It's also to say, hey, so what are you guys thinking? Were you interested in Invisalign? Were you interested in braces? Well, if a patient's mom says, oh yeah, definitely braces, we want braces. Well, now it's their job to set up that expectation for that new patient and their parent and say to them, 
Great, we've got two different types of braces you can choose from. We've got the traditional metal braces. They're one size fits all. So we've got them in stock if you want. We have a um, we have time saved aside at this new patient appointment for you to put, or us to put them on Billy. Or we've got these really cool 3D printed custom braces that come in white or clear. Yeah, because they're custom, they're gonna take six weeks. So if that's something he's interested in, Janelle will go over everything. She's our awesome treatment coordinator. And then that is not sounding salesy. And I get that question asked a lot by TCs like, well, my admin team just won't buy in to, you know, presenting the products that we have and the timelines involved in possible same day starts and all that because they think they sound salesy. I don't think that sounded salesy at all. That's getting the patient excited to come in. What they're also doing is as they're talking about our products or services and parents say, okay, well, I don't plan on, you know, making a buying decision there. I won't have my husband there. Well, that little FaceTime icon is a reminder for the girls who are, remember, multitasking at that new patient phone call to say, no, don't worry. You guys can FaceTime. Janelle will make videos, do whatever it needs to. So dad's, all of dad's questions are answered and things like that. Um, they're also giving the patient a heads up that they're going to receive a bunch of text messages from us. So they're going to tell them that they're going to receive a text message that's just a HIPAA compliance so we can continue to text with them moving forward, that they're going to get a, um, a video from Dr. Rob and Janelle, which I'm going to go over in a little bit. And then they're also going to go over um, how they're going to receive some text messages and emails from Orthofy to fill out the health history forms. And I can tell you most families are like, wow, really? Over the phone? This is great. Um, and then on the second page, of course, we have to collect the insurance because if we didn't collect the insurance now, it's never going to get entered because parents are too busy fumbling around trying to find insurance cards to put it in. Most of the time, parents call with that insurance. If they don't, my team is awesome with making sure they call the dentist or put them on a to-do list to continue to get that information. Um, as they're talking about insurance, that's where they go into, hey, if you have an SSA or HSA card or an FSA card, make sure you find out how much is on there because that can be used to, towards orthodontic treatment if you want to put it down as a down payment. And then they go into how we have super easy, flexible financing where you as a patient can choose your own down payment and we set you up on zero interest payment plans or you can pay in full no matter what payment method to save a couple hundred dollars. Now to me and, to the, and how the girls deliver it, doesn't sound sal salesy. All they're doing is educating and influencing and preparing that patient for when they come in for that new patient consult. I'm not going to do any talking because this video is going to do all the talking. So I'm going to go ahead and press play and let you listen to a recording of a new patient phone call that I got from Ray when she um, took a new patient phone call. Okay, I wanted to share with you a new patient phone call recording, but our office here at ASCO Orthodontics has an amazing um, administrative team. Ray, our financial coordinator, and Lexi, our scheduling coordinator, are the two primary admin team members that answer all phone calls. All of their for new patient phone calls literally last anywhere from two to seven minutes. Sometimes I've had a 12 new page, 12 minute new patient phone call or a 20 minute new patient phone call. So I could not record those um, fully for this webinar or else we'd be listening to those new patient phone calls this whole <laughs> webinar. So bear with me as I share um, parts of the recording from a new patient phone call. What you're gonna hear now is Ray um, asking the patient who she heard us from or who referred her, who referred this new patient to the office. So just um, listen in on how she plugs in on making sure the new patient is fully aware of our social media. Um, how did you find out about Ansler Orthodontics? Um, my girlfriend referred me to you guys. You guys just, yeah, her braces and her sister's braces. Oh, who is it? We like to send gifts anyway at our first um, patient. <laughs> Kaylee. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, she did. We had so much fun with her when she got her braces off. It was a great day. I don't know if you seen any yeah. of our stuff on social media? No, I don't think I have. I didn't realize you guys had a social media. Oh my gosh, we are on everything except for Twitter. So yeah, definitely check us out. <laughs> the word much, everything but Twitter. Yeah, we are out there. We are even on YouTube. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to fast forward the call to when she starts to talk about the financials involved. It is not salesy sounding. She is just educating and influencing the patient on their financial options that will be talked about. Okay. It's complimentary. And if you decide to stay with us for treatment, we have flexible financing and two years zero interest. So, um, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. we're super flexible. I can definitely do that. Yeah, and you get to choose your down payment and your monthly payment. So, depending on however much you put down when we're in your monthly payment. So, 
that my friends is huge because she, all she did was prepare the patient. She also made a connection. She's creating a relationship. They know someone who is mutual friends. She also talks about, um, which I forgot to mention on that new patient phone slip is she mentions orthofy or I'm sorry, not orthofy, um, social media, which is something I'm going to talk about in the importance of mentioning social media. So delivering a, ba a better patient onboarding experience starts with ortho five because patients are now being sent text on filling out their new patient um, history and their insurance and their you know financial needs all of that is done from the beginning so when my um, administrative team members get off the phone from that new patient phone call they are setting them up in ortho five for those that don't have ortho five it literally takes less than a minute to put their information and insurance in and then ortho five is automatically sending a text message to those new patients and an email to fill it out and then that increases our wait time for patients of having to fill this out. So I'm going to tell you a story and I won't be too long, but um, this week I, I had to call a physical therapist because I sprained my ankle and I had to call as a new patient. Um, so while I'm on that new patient phone call, as a phone call was ending, I realized she didn't say anything about health history forms. So I said to her, oh, can you like text me or email me health history forms? And she's like, what? Oh, we don't do that. Oh no, you got to come in and fill that out. And I'm like, all right, well, my appointment's at seven. I naturally have early arrival disorder. Could I get there at 6.30? Again, she was like, no, we don't open at 6.30. The doors unlock at seven. Okay, well, me pacing at home. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm driving. So I'm driving there, early arrival disorder, kicking in. I show up at 6.30, it's all dark, no lights. Well, then 6.45 comes around and the lights come on. So I confidently walk into the office and the doors are locked. So I can't get in. I sit back in my car, do the walk of shame back. And then finally at seven o'clock, the lights go on. I go in and the receptionist is still got her coat on. She's figuring all this stuff out. She hands me a stack this big of health history forms. So I'm like, oh, what a daunting experience. Now I'm filling them out. But remember, my appointment's at seven o'clock. So then I look up and the physical therapist is like pacing back and forth. He's annoyed. It's probably a reflection of me. He probably thinks I was unprepared. He probably thinks I was mailed these health history forms, never filled them out. And now I'm doing it last minute. So now I'm like sweating. I reek of BO because I'm sweating and papers everywhere. The pen runs out of ink. It was really annoying. Secondly, I had to enter my um, health insurance information. And so I said to the receptionist, didn't you gather that over the phone call? Do I still have to enter it? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, now I'm digging through my phone, trying to find my hidden spot where my husband's social security number is. The whole experience started off rough, all because I had to fill out paper of my health history form. So those client or those orthodontic offices out there that are still doing paper, please don't because Yes, my appointment was a lot of fun at the physical therapist. I would have wrote a great review, but I want to be honest with that office and say, get with the ages, send text messages because you know, millennial moms and kids even are on their phone all day. As soon as they get a text to fill out a health history, you better believe they do that. So that's what I love about Orthopy is they just streamline that whole new patient experience so much easier. Um, so what on the other news, we're going to talk about how to bring more value um, to patients before asking for money. I was always taught by my mentor, Tracy Consulting, make friends then make money small. And that works both ways. People are going to, new patients are going to feel like they're best friends with you after hanging up the phone with Ray and Lexi. Then they're going to see Dr. Rob in a video prior to them coming in, which I'm going to sh show you. They're going to see a video, introductory video of me. Then they're going to meet me and Dr. Rob and the whole team at the new patient consult. They're going to feel like we're BFFs and they're going to sign on um, to treatment. So this here is a great little tool from OrthoFi. It's called the OrthoFi Cheat Sheet for those non-OrthoFi users out there. I highly encourage you to have you and your doc call OrthoFi, schedule a one-hour demo to learn all about this. The Cheat Sheet just gives me and the doc a quick reference on the patient's name, the parent's name, where they work, what kind of um, activities they're interested in. It is tailored to every single consult and it's filled out by the patients. So the patients are filling out what's most important to them. And TCs that have orthopy, you know how important this is. So if that new patient didn't give a lot of information on that new patient phone call or, you know, was rushed and Ray and Lexi, you know, tried their hardest to find out if they were in braces or Invisalign, 
this is where they're going to fill it out. Do they want, you know, the latest technology and clear and visible treatment, things like that. So that's going to help us tailor that consult to fit their needs, which again is going to increase our same day starts or same day contracts. Um, Orthopy is just awesome at helping our office in so many ways. It's not just this slider. I'm going to go over some slides on how important and powerful this payment slider is, but it's it's what everyone talks about. Like, oh yeah, Orthofy has that slider. It's so much more, guys. Um, what's awesome about this slider, for those that don't have Orthofy, this is how I present my financials. It's all on an iPad. It's all designed by the patient themselves. The patient can play with that little tool to determine what they want to put down, how much they want to pay. There's things on there that do the, some advertisement like, oh, oh, 850 is the most popular. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go with that without me even having to say that. And as an office, any office out there that isn't using Orthofy, when you sign on, you can create what you want to, that um, slider to say. So it's huge. It's awesome. Patients love it. They've given us um, reviews on it. So definitely a tool worth signing on for. It is so easy. Even a kid can do it. So Ella, you just signed the contract via Orthofy. Was it all that hard to sign a contract for your braces and expander? No. So tell parents out there, get your kids started. It's super easy. People out there, get your kids started. It's easy. <laughs> and then tell them where to go for all of their braces or Invisalign needs. Do you okay. remember? No. Yes. Ask the orthodontics. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Ask the orthodontics is the place to be. We've got this system called Orthofy that makes signing the contract all from the iPad. Super easy. What do you give us? Two thumbs up? Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Lon. So the reason I did that testimonial, that patient was a new patient in the office, mom, complimented galore on how easy picking out the financials were. Her daughter was like kind of mirroring her. And then I said, do you want to be in the new patient video about Orthofy? We'll make a quick commercial. We upload it on our YouTube page. And yes, it does wonders. And it, it's fun. You got to get the kids involved. And then that is an experience and it pours value into that $6,000 that mom just signed off for. Um What's also awesome about Orthofy is this sign at home feature. So even though Ray and Lexi doing an awesome job on that new patient phone call, preparing the patients, you know, with HSA cards and FSA cards and bringing husbands and FaceTiming and me preparing them in my new patient video, which I'll talk about shortly, you still get those parents, all TCs you can relate that are like, oh, I'm still going to go home and talk to my husband. You're like, no, I just did all this work. That's okay. Don't stress. Orthofy takes the stress out of it because you better believe it that the next day after I'm sending home a contract in the mail, I'm getting alert on the Orthofy dashboard that says a patient has started. So it's super easy um, for any patient that doesn't start. Orthofy also sends automated text reminders to the patient with real time notification that doesn't sound salesy and pushy at all. Um, Orthofy is definitely the leader in same day starts before Orthofy. How did I forget what we even did? We would have to write it on like carbon copy paper. And I, as a TC, had to go into a consult assuming like, I think that family could put down 500. Okay, I'll just say they can put down 500 and then divide that by 24 months and slide the paperwork over. No matter how many times I was saying, no, we're, we're super flexible. They're taking home a piece of paper that doesn't show flexibility. My words might not carry over to what I said to mom, to dad. That's where there's the power of the slider. That, that's what creates more same-day starts. Um, now, what happens if they're not a same-day start? Well, I'm fired. No, I'm not fired. But it's when it's the power of Orthofy. They have a super easy um, dashboard that is easy to navigate that helps me as a TC follow up. So if a slider has to be sent at home, I can enter when I want Orthofy to follow up with me by having a little speech bubble at the top of the dashboard. And for me, whenever I see a little red speech bubble, it's like I've got the compulsive need to click on it. So I'm always following up and there it's like a great checks and balance between Orthofy and me and the top software and me and all these pending patients. But Orthofy has two-way texting. They have all these great new features and they're constantly coming up with great technology that can do all the follow-up for you. So as a busy TC, you can um, update your Orthofy system to send text messages out to um, your need, patients that need some following up with. 
Um, what's super easy too is this dashboard. If I always use the um, theory, if I got hit by a bus or like I broke my ankle and couldn't come to work, anyone could fill in for me and easily read the Orthofy dashboard. Um, the needs attention is great too. So if anyone wasn't taken off the dashboard or put into a pending follow-up, that's alerting me, which is huge. That's my checks and balances. This dashboard for those that don't use Orthofy is like my best friend. I have a little iPad and it's what I carry around with because that's like, that's huge. That's my day. And I want you guys to take a little screenshot of the did you know. Take a little screenshot. Talk about it at Morning Huddle. So this is where I'm going to get real passionate. These arms are going to be flying all over the place. Educating your patients is so important. Your front admin team that or front desk admin team that's taking on those new patient phone calls should be educating those new patients um, on the phone call. They should be inviting them to the social media um, pages and things like that. Just like Ray said, we're on everything but Twitter. You better believe that patient is hanging up the phone and checking us out. But the power of this is that it is showing consumers out there that we're the experts in what we do. This is awesome examples of Life at Askel Orthodontics, it shows the awesome work and the before and after of what Dr. Rob can do with a patient. It then shows the office culture of us spazzing, having fun with a patient as she's adoring her brand new smile with her braces. It shows Dr. Rob and Jen, our hygienist with an adult new patient that just started with um, clear um, 3D, cust or 3D printed custom light force braces, which is huge advertisement. I can't tell you how many times adults come into the office or adults talk to Ray and Lexi on the phone and they're like, is, are you guys accepting adults? Now, if we're advertising adults, no one's going to second guess or second question themselves if they should come in. Also, it shows them that we're constantly involved in team training. This is a training that we took pictures with, with Lightforce. So it's showing them that we're the professionals, we're the pros, we know what we're doing. We've got great before and after pictures. We're having fun and we're keeping up with our training. So keep posting photos like this on your social media because this is what's going to drive patients into your office. If your social media, don't look now because I want you to pay attention to me, but if your Instagram page for your dental office is just a bunch of stock photos that show no patient interaction and no before and afters and no team training and no awesome office culture experiences, no one's going to come to you. They're going to go to the next office, just like my new patient did, because it is showing it's a patient-centered office. Now, how do patients hear about us? Well, there is numerous ways patients are hearing about us. First, they're hearing about us through their friends and their family members, but they're hearing about us on the new patient phone call. And I'm going to go through all of that, but the girls have it on there. They have, don't forget to um, tell them about social media. This is a beautiful picture of me. If you guys want to take a screenshot of that, you can. But they're also receiving a text message before they come in from our office. Um, you know, it's some conversations that we're having with them with the orthopy text messaging, or we use Rhinogram. With Rhinogram, we can template um, what these messages will say. So one of the messages I send out before a new patient comes in is making sure they're checking us out on social media. Why? Because then when I have to present an expander to a phase one parent and a child, Hopefully they've been told on that new patient phone call and via this text message to go on social media. And hopefully they're looking at all the cool videos of patient testimonials regarding an expander. And then it helps with the conversion rate because they're going to be easily available to say, yeah, I can go ahead and sign this today. I understand fully what an expander is. Um, they're also receiving, receiving our social media links when I'm emailing them. So in a moment, I'm going to talk about this new patient video that I do and the processes on how I do that, but I email it to them. So now they're getting it in an email as well. Then they're getting a business card at um, their new patient consult. Whenever I'm done presenting to the child um, their treatment op um, options and I'm going to then show the parent the financials, I'll always say to the patient, um, are you on social media? And most of the time their you know, eyes and ears light up. They're like, yeah, I'm like, well, we're like TikTok famous here. So make sure you follow us. And immediately they're pulling out their cell phones. Now we're really not TikTok famous, but I'm gonna believe that we are. And I'm gonna make them believe that we are. Or I'll tell like a seven-year-old, do you go on YouTube? As they're like probably on YouTube right then and there. I'm going to get them to follow us. They're following us. They're having fun in that consult. They're going to remember this is an experience for them, okay? Because now I'm talking their language. This isn't like any other doctor's office they've been to. So now I'm talking their language with social media. And then I'm able to present the financials easy with the parents without the kid's distraction. Now, 
Increasing your visibility on social media is huge. We all know that social media is important, what it does for your brand and your office and what you're trying to you know, deliver. It is also a huge uh, referral source. So patients are coming into our office all the time and I'll say, we'll see it on the cheat or the high cheat sheet. I'll say, oh, it looks like Snapchat referred you. That's because their kids follow us on Snapchat because their kids' friends are saying, look at this funny office, look at this filter, this Dr. Rob is doing, things like that. So it is super powerful. But the biggest thing is that it. everyone asks us, well, how do you guys do all this social media? Do you have like a social media person? No. We have are able to do all this because of the power of OrthoFi. OrthoFi has alleviated all the troubles of Ray having our, being our financial coordinator to have to worry about following up with claims, calling insurance companies, sitting on long wait times, um, trying to get out health history and mailing the envelopes and re worrying about returned envelopes for health history. It takes away all of the follow-up that I have to do and the paperwork of mailing, you know, payment arrangements. We have so much free time. Well, not that so much free time, but we do have a lot of free time because of OrthoFi. It allows us to run around the office, create these TikToks, get patient testimonials because OrthoFi is doing all of that, you know, behind the scenes work for us that before OrthoFi we weren't doing. So more on social media, you can go ahead and watch Dr. Rob and I's webinar that we did. Take a picture with your cell phone um, of this QR code and then put down your cell phone so you can finish watching this webinar and watch that later. It's about an hour long. So another way we love to, um, you know, pour value into our product or services at Ask Orthodontics is by introducing ourselves to all patients, which again, I think is super important when before expecting money to be handed over to us, we better introduce ourselves and start creating relationships. So we do that in a number of ways. The first way we do this is as Ray and Lexi are hanging up that new patient phone call and taking a minute to put all of that patient information into OrthoFi, they're now putting them into the TAP software. They're then using Rhinogram to send them a text of a link that just says, here's a special message from Dr. Rob. The parent receives it on their cell phone. They click on it. It takes them right to the Ask Oral Orthodontic YouTube page where they're going to see this video of Dr. Rob. This is not a custom video. It is just a video that all new patients receive of Dr. Rob. It's Dr. Rob here. Thank you for calling and making a new patient exam. We all look forward to meeting you. Please feel free to check us out on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and YouTube. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Again, we're telling them to follow us on social media. Then they're also receiving um, a new patient intro video, which is a video of me, which I'm gonna go over. But before I do, I need to give a shout out to Danielle, who's a TC at Spillane and Reynolds. We learned about this new patient video at, I, I've seen it at the OrthoFi Nexus conference at Orthopreneurs. And it was when Dr. Rob saw this, he took a video of it when it was up on the conference screen and said, we are starting this when we get back. And I'm like, <laughs> more time in front of the camera. You better believe I'm going to be doing this. And I've learned to tailor these videos differently for every patient. And before I begin to explain what happens in this, um, how I do it is I use my personal cell phone. I take a video and I try to keep it under a minute, minute and a half. And then I email it to my Ask Orthodontics work email. From there, I forward it to the patient's or the patient's parents' um, email. That way, they're not having my personal cell phone and all that jazz. Now, in that email, it's a video that says, great, see you tomorrow, and they press play and they watch this video. But then I assume nobody checks their email. So I send them a message via Rhinogram that just says, hey, this is Janelle. I've sent a personalized video for you or Abigail to read or to watch um, before the new patient consult. Let them it's saying in there, make sure you follow us on social media. So now they're prepared to go watch this video. Now in my video, I used to say, oh, this is Janelle. I'm going to take a bunch of photos and x-rays when you come in. And I've learned from these videos because then when I send it, you better believe a parent's call me. What? X-rays? No, my daughter just had an x-ray. Then I'm explaining, oh yeah, well, we did receive an x-ray from your dentist, but I got to take a bite x-ray. It's, it's called a Ceph x-ray. Then they're like, well, no, she just had bite wings. Instead of saying the word x-rays, I just say images. It helps keep it a whole lot easier. I also don't go over that I'm going to do an iTero scan or any face mapping. That happens to be with Lightforce for any of those that don't know what that is. Um, because I want there to be some element of surprise because that's going to make a better new patient experience. And it's going to help put more value into the $6,000 that they're going to hand over to me. So here's an example of my new patient video. 
Hi, Kristen. My name is Janelle. This message is for you and your son, Carter. Hi, bud. I just want to make this video so you know what to expect when you come in for your new patient consult on Monday and you know who you're working with. So I'm Janelle. I'm the treatment coordinator. I'm going to be hanging out with you when you come in. Your appointment's going to be super easy. All I have to do is just take a bunch of pictures and images of your teeth. Then Dr. Rob will come in. He'll go over all the photos I've taken of you and show them to you on this big TV screen and then talk to you about what it is you need. So I understand from when your mom called the office, you have what's called a crossbite. And it is common, but an easy fix. And sometimes, depending on where in the mouth your crossbite is, patients need what's called an expander with some braces for the top teeth. Now, this expander doesn't go in the day you come in for your new patient consult on Monday, but we just talk about it and prepare for some things, okay? With that, Kristen, I will also go over all the financials involved. You do have um, dual insurance, so I'll go over in great detail on how they cover, and you may not even have an out-of-pocket cost at all, which is great. So we'll dive into all of that. Other than that, if you guys go on YouTube, we have a bunch of videos of our real patients getting these expanders on and giving little patient testimonials. So I invite you to our YouTube page so you can learn all about this stuff before you come in. All right, see you soon. Bye. So another thing I want to touch on is the awesome job Ray or Lexi did collecting that information. If I didn't know that the patient's parents said that they had a crossbite, it was the patient parent that actually said, I think my daughter needs an expander. All of that is probably foreign to the new patient and their parents. So I'm just reintroducing it to them and preparing them even more. And every parent knows products come with a cost. So they're going to come prepared. They're going to come in not having this wow factor of like, what is this contraption for my patient's mouth? And it helps alleviate any fear that this little seven-year-old had to maybe would have experienced coming into the office when they see this video. So it's super powerful. We get we get a bunch of Google reviews on it and parents will even say when I'm walking up there, they're like, oh, hey, Janelle. And I'm like, do I know these people? They're the new patients, but they feel like they know me from this new patient video. They feel like they know Dr. Rob because they met him. They know he's not scary. And as you know, as a TC, we wear many hats and that hat is being the, the relationship facilitator. It's our job to create relationships and introduce ourselves um, and introduce the entire team to these new patients. And yes, I even send the bloopers. So I'm going to go ahead and play these for you. Um, <laughs> this is the story of my life. And I do, I have fun with these, especially with the adults. I like when I'm making their videos, if I have a blooper, I'm going to send it to them just because I feel like adults are harder to, um, convert into patients than it is for a parent that brings a child that needs something. So I try to have fun. And again, it's great and an awesome experience for that patient. Um, another way to add value is just by listening to your patients. Patients love to talk about themselves. They love to talk about their problems. And if they know you're sitting there listening and you're taking your listening skills and carrying it over to Dr. Rob, and then Dr. Rob comes in and explains it all, that's a wow factor for the patient. Um, and they love to hear your stories and um, share, you know, it's always good as a TC to share your orthodontic story and experience. If you don't have one, I don't know, make it up. No, I'm just kidding. But here's a picture. It was very candid. This is an adult that came in. Um, and I'm actually going to show you a review he wrote on the next slide. But what was awesome is as I'm talking to him about his um, orthodontic treatment, this is how he was sitting. And I literally said to him, I'm in awe on how relaxed and comfortable you are. Can I use this for like social media? I'm going to go grab the girls up front to take a picture of us. If you could just hang out like this. And he didn't even have a chance to say yes. I was like, Meow. I was out of the room. One of the girls from the team came up, took a picture, and then I created this meme. But it's powerful. And that's what I want new patients to see when they're looking on our Instagram and Facebook page and stuff like that, that, okay, all right, this is the kind of fun that adults have at this at these new patient consults. So this is powerful. But what's even more powerful is what this patient wrote about us. So he talks about, you guys can take a screenshot of this, honestly, because this should be a goal for you to try to reach and just work towards. But this is a great review. He wrote. And he starts off by saying how when he called Ask Orthodontics, he got a voicemail saying that Dr. Rob was out of town and someone would get back to him as soon as he possibly could. And then literally, I think that day, Lexi called him and he, he talks about that in the um, in the review and how that just really wowed him. He then talks about how he learned about Dr. Rob. And um, obviously he said that Lexi had edified me as a treatment coordinator and he was then excited to meet us, which is Yay to Lexi, because she did a great job taking that new patient phone call and edifying the team. But then he also talks about how 
where does he say about how he's been to um, a bunch of offices and how even taking the mundane, you know, x-rays and things like that was low anxiety and fun. Now, what patient says that they have fun taking x-rays? Well, every patient at Esquire Orthodontics says that because it's a whole song, sing, and dance that I do. So TCs, please make sure every part of that new patient consult is an experience right down to those x-rays. For record technicians that you're doing it for the TC, you got to help them by creating an, an experience with that x-rays. If kids have stuffed animals, have fun. Say, you want to take an x-ray on your, your stuffed animal here or have like the siblings help with all of that because all of that is really going to add to that patient experience that they're not getting anywhere else. Remember, they're going on 2.5 consults. So what can you do to stand out and make your consult be the office that they choose? Um, so we're going to talk more on how to add value to same day um, contracts. I get this asked all the time from other TCs. Okay, Janelle, they've signed $6,000 over to you what do you do? Because now they can't get their product for maybe four to six weeks. Well, we do that in a number of ways at Ask Orthodontics. And I'm so proud of all the ideas we come up with. We're constantly reviewing these ideas at our monthly meetings and morning huddles and things like that. But one of the things I do as a TC, because as you remember, we wear a lot of hats. And one of our jobs is to be the, the office cheerleader and the office culture promoter. So my job is to continue to make that appointment fun and be the leader for everyone in clinic and the assistants and hygienists and Dr. Rob and admin team to say, hey, these new patients videos are powerful. This is a new patient who was told on the new patient phone call, oh, that's easy. Let's get excited. They got her all excited about social media. Check it out. She's got a crossbite. Great. She needs an expander. That's okay. They got her excited that she saw the Dr. Rob video. She saw my new patient video. Video, but she still came in really nervous. Well, of course, she had a consult with the one and only Janelle Baum. So it was a turned out to be a great appointment. And when my appointments turn out great, especially for those that were nervous coming in, I always try to get patient testimonials of them. A, because it's going to make the patient feel awesome that they're on an Ask Orthodontic TikTok or YouTube page. Now they feel awesome. B, the parent is going to share that on social media, that social media goal, that social media advertisement. Um, what you don't see in this video is the mom is actually sitting in the corner as the patient and I are doing this patient testimonial that I'm going to play in a minute, and she's recording it on her cell phone. Who knows who she's sending it to? She's probably sending it to dad and grandma and the neighbors and everyone else which says so much about the experience. And this is only her new patient consult, guys. And my team at Ask Orthodontics continues this kind of culture all the way through D-Bond Day. So go ahead and enjoy. All right, we've got Janelle here, treatment coordinator at Ask Orthodontics. And what is your name? Addison. Addison, tell everyone how old are you? Seven. And do you know what it is that you came in here for today? I came here to check my teeth and make sure I'm and see if I need spaces or braces. Yep, and show everyone what it is that you need. I need spaces and braces. So cool. And Addison here is kind of a big deal. You want to know why? She did her own 3D scan of her mouth. So at Ask Orthodontics, we do not do goopy impressions. We do digital scans of our mouths, and you did it all by yourself, which is pretty big deal. Um, did anything at today's appointment hurt at all? No. And were you scared coming in at all? A little. Mm -hmm. But then was it scary? No. We had fun and we made this testimonial video. And tell everyone, just by making this video today, what do you get to do? What do you get? A Tim Martin's gift card. Okay. Well, tell everyone if they need braces and spacers, come to ask for the braces. If you guys need braces and braces, you guys can ask the orthodontist. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you are an actress. So if you guys are looking for an actress, we got one right here. Good job. So one of the things, if you didn't catch in that video, is I told her to tell everyone how she earned a $5 Tim Hortons card. So it's something I, we all do at Ask Orthodontics is we incentivize patients for these patient testimonials. So if there's a patient getting on, like, say, a Carrier bar and, you know, in the clinic, you better believe we're going to have Ray or myself up there videotaping that patient. And of course, the patient feels super vulnerable because they're sitting backwards in the chair with cheek retractors in and all the hands of the hygienists and the assistants. And we're saying, hey, can we just videotape what it's like to get on a carrier bar so other new patients know how easy it is? Well, before I give them a chance to say yes, I'm already rolling camera here, but I do tell them, we'll give you a Tim Hortons gift card just for being an Ask Orthodontics actor today. And then you're going to become YouTube famous too. That's all they care about is the YouTube famous 
than the Tim Hortons gift card. So it works out great. I highly encourage every office to jump on board with this. Um, another way I'm adding value to that $6,000 contract that was just signed is showing patients some love with swag. So if a patient was a Light Force patient, we've got fun Light Force sunglasses and stickers and some Invisalign stickers as well. And then ask orthodontics pens are given out and chapsticks. Their names are getting put into a raffle. If they sign out a contract, they have more names to be put into a raffle to win something really big. So all of this is how pouring in value into the amount that they just spent with us. I'm also amping up the patients and the parents for what's ahead for the day they get on their um, appliance. So they do not do not get any of this at the new patient consult, but I am getting them excited that they're gonna get it, um, a tube of toothpaste. So, you know, I know patients are really excited about that, but the parent is the tie-in fluoride to help fight against decalcification. They're gonna get a fun tie-dye shirt, which all patients love, and then an electric toothbrush. And that's like, you always hear the, wow, oh my gosh, you're gonna get a fancy toothbrush? So it helps really, really pour in value by getting them excited. Now, one of the things we do not tell them is that they're gonna get an ask for orthodontic Yeti. And this is a system we've got really tailored down to a science where Ray, our financial coordinator, is every day looking at the schedule to see how many signed contracts to place that day. She's then sending them in the mail and Ask Orthodontics Yeti with a big thank you card from everyone at Ask Orthodontics. What we didn't expect from this is the amount of thank yous we would get back and the amount of posts that people would share on social media tagging us, telling them thank you. This is what they're telling their friends. I think half the reason people come to ask orthodontics to start treatment is from this Yeti, believe it or not. But the power of social media, you guys, these patients are, you know, so excited that they're setting up props with their um, Ask Their Yeti and thank you card and sharing that with us. So this is huge. It makes us happy. And we know that this wow factor is really working. And again, it helps pour value into that $6,000 that mom just signed away when she's not getting that product until like about six weeks later. Um, so one of the special things we do at Ask for Orthodontics is make personalized videos. So if a patient is signing on to whether it be Light Force or Invisalign, the day they get on their Light Force braces or Invisalign, Dr. Rob goes over a clin check with them or the face mapping with them. And they don't know that that's coming on the day that they start treatment. But if a patient's ever like, <laughs> you know, a little disgruntled, like, oh, I just spent $6,000. I'm not going to get anything until six weeks from now. Those are the patients I'm going to say, Dr. Ivy, got to send a video. So this is an example of a video of a patient who signed on for Light Force and Dr. Rob is getting him excited to help pour value into that $6,000 they just signed over. So go ahead and watch a video that Dr. Rob does so well at. Christian, what's up, man? I know you're coming in soon. I want to give you a little sneak peek of your uh, new smile coming up here. I know you did that face mapping for us. So I'm going to turn it to the uh, computer screen. There you are. All right. Now we're going to make your smile change. Here's your teeth moving. There's you and your new smile, man. All right. A little representation in a little uh, virtual world of what happens behind the scenes here at Ask Orthodontics. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Very cool. So what's really powerful about this is it's a strengthening the relationship with, between Dr. Rob and that new patient, and it's getting the patient super excited for the treatment, which is going to help with compliance because now they're like, oh my God, all this attention to detail has been brought to me. I better be really good with my braces. Um, another thing we do is staying engaged with patients, which is super important. Every new patient, whether they start or not with our office, gets a thank you card from me. It's handwritten. Patients love it. It's an awe factor and a surprise. And then, of course, they're getting diagnostic letters from Dr. Rob um, just explaining treatment and things like that. Um, every new patient gets a text from me, and I try to send it later in the day. Um, I use Rhinogram for this, and what I do is just send them the text to say, I would love to hear from your about how your experience went with our office, and go ahead and click on this link. And again, it just helps strengthen the relationship. It gets them talking again, hopefully, when, because I'm sending it at night or eating dinner and then talking about their experience at Ask Orthodontics and sharing it with the World Wide Web. Another way we stay engaged is on the day they start. So they've started treatment, they leave the office. Well, what Lexi does, like I said, she wears many hats, is she writes Dr. Rob a nightly call list. So pictured here is a list of all the patients that started that day. She will email Dr. Rob the patient's name, what type of treatment they started with, the phone number, and mom's name. And then Dr. Rob on his way home calls all those patients. Again, this is, yeah, customer, um, you know, service, 
but this is customer experience that patients are not expecting and parents love it. And it's him checking in on those patients who just got braces. So it's a big deal and it's a big wow factor for patients as well. And again, it strengthens the relationship between Dr. Rob, that patient and the parent. Another way we stay engaged and invested in showing the patients that we care even now in the middle of treatment is every patient is given this at the start of their treatment. It's called their Healthy Smiles Program. So they're told to take this piece of paper, take it to their dentist. Every time they go in for a cleaning every six weeks, bring it back. And what's going to happen is when they bring it back, it puts their name and their hygienist name that's on this form into a raffle to win $50 Amazon gift card. So patients love it. Hygienists love it. We send these extra copies to the 30 local general dentist air, um, offices in the area. They then refer us even more because they see how invested we are and how hygiene is super important in a orthodontic patient's journey. Um, we even make fun compliance videos. We all know patients aren't that good at wearing elastics. So instead of like harping on them after their mom's already harping on them, Dr. Rob will send them a video. So any patient that came in that day that mom got upset with or something like that, we try to turn their frown upside down by um, making these fun compliance videos. So here's an example of a video Dr. Rob sent to a patient that needed some more reminders about wearing his elastic ties. Paul, what's up, buddy? It's great to see you today. Listen, there's one last step for you to complete your orthodontic treatment. The most important thing, just wearing those rubber bands like we showed you how to wear again, Paul. That's it, man. And the end of the road is near for you. We'll get these things off in December or soon after that, and we'll make all this happen for you, buddy. All right? Great to see you guys again today. You guys have a happy Thanksgiving. So we won't see you until after that. And we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye. Again. Awesome video. It strengthens the relationship, shows Dr. Rob he's invested in their treatment and he wants to get them to be compliant. Um, we also, with that video, will send a link to our TikTok where a patient and their parent are going to watch this TikTok video just to put some extra light on it. But what's great is the kids share this. And then again, we're hoping to become TikTok famous and we go viral. So enjoy this TikTok parody. Oh, sorry. Nope, no, we're going to go back. Jill, today is a really important day to you for you. It's the day we've talked about. It's the day that I can't do the work for you. You have to start doing the work for me, right? It's really important to wear your rubber bands. So when you start wearing them, you want to wear them 24 7, right? You only take them out to eat and brush your teeth, but it's really important to you wear them, right? The more you wear them, the faster you get used to this one. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jill, you have to wear your rubber bands because we know when you're not. Yep. All right, Dr. Rob, I will make him wear his rubber bands. All right, guys, so like we talked about, right, this is the part of the treatment that I can't do for you, right? It's all about your participation. The effort you put in is what's going to get your bike fixed. We're going to be done with this one. <laughs> do you hear me? Yeah, Dr. Rob, I hear you. So you guys, this video is super powerful because it speaks the kids' language, which is great. So another awesome thing we do at Ask Orthodontics is, it's called ARC. It stands for Acts of Random Kindness. And Dr. Rob gives all team members at Ask Orthodontics a $50 allowance to spend on any patient, whether it's $30 for one patient, $20 for another, or $50 altogether for one patient. And it's a patient that might need some uplifting. So here's an example of some of the art gifts that we sent out. This is a trophy to, um, to the world's greatest brother, where that patient came in for a new patient consult, and mom said he was a little distraught because he had a trauma accident with his brother and had to call 911 um, at a skiing accident, things like that. So he's still kind of recovering from it. And to me, I was like, oh, that brother needs to win an award. So what did I do? I sent an art gift. We send it to them in the mail via Amazon. On, and it always has a nice little message on there saying, love your family from Ask Orthodontics. We also, um, or this is an example of the clinic team, um, Bria Harigenis came up with it, where she was working on a patient whose dad recently passed away and the patient, you know, was visibly upset and stuff. And of course you feel like you just want to save the world for them. So we, um, she came up with these wind chimes to send as an art gift. So these are super powerful. Patients um, love it. They aren't expecting it and it creates that awesome patient experience. That's a wrap. I hope everyone enjoyed everything I said. I hope you learned a lot. I am super excited to have been here today. I could not have shared this webinar if it wasn't for my awesome team who really does an awesome job participating in that whole patient experience. We can do a whole webinar on D-band day and what happens in between appointments and things like that. But a huge shout out to everyone at Ask Orthodontics. 
if anyone doesn't follow OrthoFi on Facebook or Ask Orthodontics on Facebook or on Instagram, please follow OrthoFi and Ask Orthodontics. You can learn a ton from us, but also OrthoFi. They're always sharing tips and tricks on their OrthoFi Facebook and Instagram page. They're always running fun contests for your chance to win some swag, so make sure you follow them. And then if anyone has questions on details on how to, you know, um, work out the details with a new patient video or questions for Dr. Rob, you name it, please email me, um, Janelle.bomb at AskAbotOrtho.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Janelle. That was, that was great. I love some of the videos you guys post and, you know, there's just so many creative ideas there. Um, we've got a couple different questions. I know we're coming up on an hour, so we'll try to be a little quick. If, if we sure have to follow up with some, we can. Um, one last one. So Amanda King from uh, Miami Ortho Specialist emailed this one into us, but um, during their new patient process, you know, she says, so during my new patient process, myself and the front desk, they, you know, they do their best to try to provide an amazing job, um, an amazing experience, you know, kind of crowd surfing as a team. And then a lot of times they feel, you know, there's challenges as far as, you know, when they pass things over to clinic, you know, whether it's, you know, they drop the ball or, you know, they don't feel like their team is super aligned necessarily on that because obviously clinic's super busy um, as well. So um, the question she has is, you know, how can we support the clinic? team to be, you know, able to have that same energy and kind of same communication in order to kind of continue that. So I thought I'd love if you could kind of just talk a little bit about, you know, the culture in at Askler Orthodontics, the culture in your practice as it relates to same day starts and the same day start culture, um, how you guys work, you know, not just from a TC team and with Dr. Rob, but you know, cross-functionally with all your different, different teammates to really have that alignment. Absolutely. So I would say, Amanda, is first have your doctor talk to your clinic team on what motivates them. If you guys can come up with an incentive program on if you, you know, reach your goals on same day starts or just the number of starts per month, that might help motivate them. Um, of course, everyone's motivated by money, but some people aren't. They're motivated by affirmation or being put into the spotlight where others aren't. So find out what their motivations are. Um, not everyone has a growth mindset. Obviously, the administrative team sees the numbers and are being talked about on reports and things like that on the number of starts that happen and all that comes from the great OrthoFi um, reporting system, but they're not seeing it. So I highly recommend that you have monthly meetings. That's what we do at Ask Orthodontics. We had one today. It was called an admin day. And we go over the number of starts. And if the starts are low, which they're not, but if they are low, we're going to talk about what caused them to be low. Oh, that's right. We probably didn't have a lot of same day starts the month of November because three hygienists were out with COVID. That did not happen, but I'm just saying it helps us really troubleshoot why the numbers are the way they are or how can we get them up. And it, it, it's it's hard to give bring everyone to a growth mindset, but Dr. Rob has us read books um, and then, you know, touch base on those books. He has us watch webinars from other orthodontic offices um, and things like that. So just encourage them to watch these kind of webinars and go to conferences is super huge and just have team building exercises, I think is gonna bring the team together. Have, them, have the doctors send everyone off to get their nails done together just so they can have that bonding, which is really going to correlate in the clinic. Um, I'm going to butcher this last name, so I apologize in advance, Linda. But um, Linda uh, Kornikivik, I, 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 I'm sorry, I know I pronounced that terribly. But um, so she said, we charge higher than, than a lot, than pretty much all the other orthos in the area, and they're out of network. And sometimes it's hard when patients are shopping around. So um, and they say that we're higher. Like, how do you combat that? I know Ask or that's not the, you know, you're not the a cheap, you know, the cheapest shop in town. So how do you, how do you create an environment or kind of create that value that you, you, the financial barriers of starting treatment yeah. are, are patient, you're able to overcome that and patients are able to see that they're picking, you know, that quality ortho treatment that, that we know you have. Absolutely. We get told the same thing. Um, our competitors are more corporate and they honestly, when patients shop around, they're super open with us about it. And they'll even say, oh, I I'm, I went to that place and I told them I was coming here and they did tell us that you guys were more expensive and they're willing to, you know, lower their price. So we go there. I, I mean, pa patients tell me these things or after they leave, they're going somewhere else and they're being told like, hey, can you negotiate and bring it down a thousand? Patients are super open to us, A, because I tell them to. And I provide them with all the tools. So if a patient is telling me, oh, I have another consult, we're not going to sign a contract today, email it to me. Okay, great. Stay a minute. I'm going to email you Billy's panoramic x-ray, his stuff x-ray, his diagnostic photos and a diagnostic letter real quick. So you can take all of that to the consult. So you don't have to spend any extra time there taking those x-rays and things like that. And they will take, and then the parents like, well, 
wow. Now, why wouldn't they choose us if I just provided all of this for them? I do have an email. That's why I brought me back to this slide. So please email me, Linda, um, because I have an example of an email that I use. It's like scripting that when a patient asks us, hey, trying to negotiate price, I just sit there and go into all the things we don't charge extra for and I pour in the value of that cost. And I can tell you 90% of the people choose us. Yeah, they're paying a little bit extra, but it's that customer center centric experience that they're looking they end up wanting to look for. So I hope that helps. And it, it does help if the front admin team is explaining all that at that new patient phone call too. Uh, this one is from Melinda Maddox. Um, we are such a fun office, but work in, in kind of a high maintenance area. How do you break the seal and, and get your patients to engage with you on social media um, and not have it come off like, you know, they're crazy? <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I, I guess, can you ask that last part of the question? I'm like, uh, how do you engage with them so that, you know, it, like, how do you kind of break the barriers down and, and get them to engage with you on social? Oh, uh, yeah. When they're, you know, it's kind of a more high maintenance area. Yeah, no, I feel like patients brag about coming here. And there's days I could show you in a group text with Aspel Orthodontics team, people were tagging Aspel Orthodontics because their daughter started that day. And the whole thread afterward was like, I love them. I love them. I love them. We do have sometimes a hard time when we post like contests, people don't really um, chime in on the contests and things like that. But I, I don't know. It just, it just works for us. I think because they're so prepared and they're already followed us for so long that asking them to engage with on, us on social media and like the teams sharing that responsibility to write back just, just happens to work out. So it's not really a flaw we have, but it's, of course, we're always looking for better ways to improve and um, communicate with patients and engage with them for sure. Uh, absolutely. Answer your question. <laughs> yeah, and I think you know, one of the things we always say too, we see a lot as well, and, and I think this is, you know, across the industry, but like consistency is key. And, and I think social media doesn't always happen overnight, right? One thing right. I think that you guys do better than anybody is, you know, and if you look at that webinar that uh, Janelle posted uh, earlier, she taught her and Dr. Rob talk about this, but it's, you know, being yourself and being authentic and you, know, you don't have to do what every other practice is doing, what everybody else is doing, like, and it's just posting all the time. And, and when people see that there's a lot of activity, it's not going to happen overnight, but it'll, it'll grow and it, and it kind of continues to evolve. So um, definitely check out that webinar for some tips for some social if you're interested in that. Um, one of the things that, uh, so there's a question from, from Annie uh, Hondoy. Um, is there good verbiage on, on how they should be filling out ortho five prior to consult consultation? You know, obviously they receive the texts and calls and emails and sometimes they still wait till the last minute. So you, know, you and I have talked about this a lot as far as, um, you know, the importance of, of, of pre-populating insurance on the new patient call, which you, you talked about and your team does a great job. And then um, can you talk a little bit how you guys are, you know, using, you know, or they're about to be following up uh, to really try to get that two days in advance is, is yeah. really the, the rule of thumb we always say of, of the importance of trying to get that insurance information. You, you just talk about your guys' process there. Yeah, absolutely. So I am crazy about looking at this OrthoFi dashboard all the time, making sure my new patients have all the um, information filled out. If they don't, of course I'm sending, because OrthoFi makes it easy. You just click a button and it will automatically send them that reminder. Now, if it's the day of and they still don't have it, it is something I discuss at the morning huddle. So the girls at the front desk will have the iPad ready with the patient's login information ready to go. And then they know that, that when the new patient comes in, they got to present it so that when I'm back there, it's all taken care of up front. Um, and it doesn't happen often, believe it or not. The only time we really see patients not fill out that those health history forms are, those are like the no-shows or maybe they were mystery callers or something. I'm not sure. But um, if it's also the day before and I've sent an email with my new patient video and stuff like that, um, sometimes I'll call because there's something specific. If there's a bunch of notes from the general dentist and things like that, I need to know that health history before we start working in their mouth. So I'll call to say, hey, I'm just making sure you got all those. And then um, usually most of the time it's the parents saying whatever excuse they have. But we it's not a big issue, but it's definitely something you got to have a system and you need a TC alone can't be the only one responsible. So please have your um, doctor know that, that you need help from the admin team to help get those um, health history forms filled out. So what, would you say there's a, you know, maybe tell a little bit best practice or kind of like the, when you log into OrthoFi in the morning and maybe like, are you, are you looking at the kind of the upcoming tasks or today's, you know, today's yeah. patients? Um, can you just talk about the benefits of that and how it kind of keeps your team organized and, and really lets you know exactly what's going on? 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The dashboard is awesome because you can toggle through today's patients. So if all my new patients are records patients and ops patients are all filled out, perfect. I'm going to go on to the next day. I can look at all the patients for tomorrow. So if there's some glitch in there where Orthofy does an awesome job alerting us if an insurance um, can't be verified or if there is no coverage. So right away, we have um, both the admin team members and myself getting in on making sure that that parent uh, or patient updates that insurance information. Um, um, what OrthoFi does too is also if the insurance was put in, OrthoFi verified it, and there's some sort of like needs a social security number, um, OrthoFi also sends an alert to the patient to notify them to update that and things like that. So it, it, we've got so many checks and balances between OrthoFi admin and myself that it just makes the whole um, new, new patient processing uh, process a whole lot easier. Um, this one is from Christina Costa. Uh, Costa. Uh, what's your protocol and follow up if a new patient, you know, doesn't commit to treatment that day? So maybe can you, can you talk about how you're, you know, what you're doing with signing home or how you're kind of following up on the back end um, Absolutely. if they're not ready. I, yeah, my follow up is a little mix of um, Tracy Martin's straight consulting follow up protocol and a little mix of Michelle Shimon's protocol, a little mix of Dr. Rob and I just doing what we do. Um, every patient follow up is a little different, but the main follow up is if the patient says, No, I'm not ready to sign today, I need to go home and talk to my husband. I email them and I put the follow up in for the next day. Then the next day, between patients or when I come in early, because remember, I have early arrival disorder, that's when I'm usually taking care of some of this stuff. I then send them a text the next day. So any patient that was shown um, a slider that didn't sign the the contract at home that night or in the office, I'm sending them a friendly text the next day that simply just says, hey, it's Janelle, the treatment coordinator you met with yesterday. I always use my name and my title. Um, just want to know if you have any questions with um, the treatment options Dr. Rob recommended to, for you and or if you need any help with the OrthoFi payments slider. Um, just as a reminder, if you sign the contract, I'll get an alert and then Billy can start his light force um, treatment in six weeks. Let me know if you have any questions. That's all I say. And then I put an alert or a follow-up up through the OrthoFi dashboard to remind me the next week to follow up. So my next week um, follow up is via email this time. And I'm just saying, hey, just following up to see if you guys are still considering orthodontic treatment in our office, or if you decided to go elsewhere, please let me know so I can keep Billy's chart up to date. Um, usually by then I get a response because they know I have to keep Billy's chart up to date. And that's when they, we just kind of go back and forth. So of course, if they're like, oh, I'm waiting until January, I'm going to continue to push my follow-up until January. If a patient doesn't respond then, um, a whole month later, I'm putting a follow-up into OrthoFi and I send them this funny postcard of Dr. Rob and I. So it is not stock photo saying your dental health is important to us. It's a fun photo of Dr. Rob and I with all these office telephones and cords everywhere saying, hey, I hope you didn't forget about us. We're looking forward to seeing you. Please call us to schedule your next appointment. There's virtual options for you if you want to. And then most of the time they call us and moms are like, thank you. I needed that visual. It's on my fridge. I've been meaning to call you guys. And then we usually get a signed contract. From there, if they don't respond, I put a follow-up in OrthoFi for the dashboard to remind me three months later. At three months later, I am texting them, um, just following up with them still. It's kind of like a mix of all the follow-ups that I've already sent. And then I dismiss them. And Dr. Rob um, and I are okay with that system. It what's works for us. If And then I have notes all over their chart that explain that I've done all that and all the dates of when I followed up and what their next appointment will be if we... Um, if they decide to call back. And many times they do decide to call back years later and we got to do records and all that jazz over again, but that's okay because all of that's noted in their in their chart. Or there's some patients that are super honest with me and are like, can you call me back in a month? Can you call me after the holidays? And that's what I continue to do. Awesome. So I think that is all the questions that we that we have for now. So um, again, if you guys have more questions, you know, please feel free to shoot us an email. Um, you know, we can, you can either email Janelle or you email even uh, marketing at orthofi.com. We'll be sure to get those answered. We are obviously recording this. Uh, we'll send out um, you know that in the next couple of days, either tomorrow or early by next week at the latest. Um, again, Janelle, thank you so much for doing this with us tonight. Thank you for everybody that stuck around. I know we're you know 10 minutes over, so I appreciate everybody. Uh, again, all the orthofi clients, thank you for being here. If you're not an orthofi client, you know, I mean it's a great time to schedule a demo. Um, you know, do a demo, you get a free $50 Amazon gift card uh, if you schedule a demo in, in December or January. So um, you know, like I said, whether we're not right, whether we're the right fit for your practice or not, um, I guarantee you're going to learn something. We talk, we go over a lot of data, a lot of stats, a lot of things that are happening in the industry. Um, you know, I, I think Janelle can speak for it that it's going to be worth an hour of your time. Um, so you can just, 
you can take a little photo, uh, you know, pull up your camera, uh, uh, scan that QR code, it'll take you to our website. Uh, you can schedule a demo from there if you want. And like I said, I know it'll be worth your time. So again, thank you all for being here with us tonight. We hope you enjoyed it and uh, wish everybody the happiest of holidays and a, and a happy new year. Hope you uh, can have a great time wrapping up the year strong. So thank you so much, Janelle. Bye, Brian. Thanks for having me. Bye, TCs and Docs. Have a great holiday. Keep up those conversion rates. Sign on to Orthofy. It's the best one hour you're ever going to spend if you do a demo.